Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a get ready with me. I am going to do my hair, I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, I'm not going anywhere, I'm filming a mukbang, but I thought I would put on makeup and I haven't done a get ready with me in a very long time. And there's a few things I wanna use because I got some stuff. It was at least a month ago and Kim and I went to Ulta and I never got to show you guys what I got, but I wanna show you and I wanna use some stuff for the first time, so we'll see how it goes. I'm also gonna curl my hair. I just got this one and a quarter inch curling iron from Conair. And the reason I got one and a quarter is because my hairstylist, Lindsay, was like, oh yeah, she was using this size. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use it too. Cause I have a what? do I have a one inch? I don't even think I have a one inch. I have a one and a half, which is my favorite, and then I have a two inch, but I don't think I have a one inch. I know my mom does, but I don't, I don't. So I'm gonna curl my hair. I slept in a braid last night. I'm just gonna quickly curl my hair and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Walking downtown and I'm okay. He's got it all figured out, it's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say It's easier said than done That guy, got him to live through us Okay, you guys, I'm done curling. Um, there's some pieces that I'm not happy with. Like, obviously, like right now, I need to brush it out. But I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to clip it to the back for now and start on my makeup. Oh, crap. I'm also, I have like, I also have dandruff because obviously with bleaching and coloring your hair, it kind of dries out your scalp. So don't mind if you see those. <laughs> So I've already put on my moisturizer and my primer. So for moisturizer, I'm using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is my favorite. I think I'm like halfway done with it. It's just so light and it doesn't feel oily and like residue-y. Um, I used to love Cetaphil, but I don't use that anymore. Just because over the time I've realized Cetaphil left my skin feeling so soft. But it was slowly, I feel like, eating at my skin. So just look out for that. I personally love the feeling. However, it was just over time damaging my skin. So I moved on to CeraVe. And then I primed with the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas. I used this for the first time a few weeks ago. And it left my skin so pretty. I had to keep using it and then i just sprayed my face with the Too faced hangover three in one spray it's a replenishing primer and a setting spray i don't use it for setting spray just because i feel like the spritz of it like the the spray isn't as fine as i want it to be but it is a great primer the things that i want to use from ulta are a few different things so i definitely want to use this this is the Nubian by the Juvia's Place. I have been hearing about this company since Kim was in the makeup industry. This was like the, oopsies. So I'm gonna use this. Luckily I got a nude palette. So it has like everything I need. <laughs> Do you guys see Clem over there? She's literally judging me. I, I don't know what I did to you. That makes you feel like you can look at me like that. Then I got the Physicians Butter Bronzer. Kim would not stop talking about this bronzer, so she was like, she basically harassed me to get it. So I got it. I'm gonna use it today because why not? Um, it's super pretty. It's a really pretty color. Oh, if I can get it out of back. 
packaging. Ooh, super soft. I think it'll be really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna start with my skin. Since I've already primed, I'm just gonna go in with concealer and foundation and just get started with that. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. I'm just gonna go in and kinda go in all my blemishes, the areas that are just a lot more pigmented that I wanna get rid of. I'm gonna move on to under eye concealer my favorite is the NARS radiant creamy concealer I've been really into NARS like skin wise I don't really use a lot of their other products but skin wise like foundation and concealer they're my favorite so I'm gonna put some in the inner corner per usual but then we're gonna do that whole lifting effect that's in right now and instead of bringing the concealer all the way around I'm just gonna put a little bit here do you guys see that flick so that it's kind of lifted and then I'm gonna put a little here because this area for some reason seems very dull to me I'm going to bake with my original favorite loose powder, which is the Benai Luxury Powder in Cameo. That is my favorite all time. I don't know if anything will take over, but as you can see, they're very similar. But as you can see, this is very yellow. And I thought that it would be okay because it's yellow is my undertone. I'm too scared to put it on my under eyes, so I'm going to stick with Cameo under my eyes. And then I'm going to do the banana color all around my face to set my whole face. And since our next step is going to be eyebrows, I'm going to set in that area as well so that it's not all sticky and weird. I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. I just got a new brow pencil. I got the, these are my favorite brow pencils by Benefit. It's precisely my brow pencil. I usually used six because I had really dark hair, obviously. But now that I am lighter, I did go up to four. So it should be, it should still be a dark brown, but it's better than what six was because six was pretty much like black brown. So the way I do my eyebrows is I am, I'm not trying to be cocky and I hope this doesn't trigger anyone, but I have really good brows. I'm very thankful for my brows. My mom has given me beautiful brows. So I am lucky enough to have a shape. Um, I shape my own brows. I don't go anywhere. So because I have a pretty much like good solid foundation the only thing I do is draw a line at the bottom and extend it so my tail kind of evens out I don't fill the top in at all I just do the bottom and then I spoolie it up so I'm going to show you what it looks like Okay, you guys, I do not remember Altman and Marcelone smooching, shagging. I don't remember this at all. So I've watched Grey's Anatomy. I watched it when, I watched it while my mom was watching it back when it came out. 
not appropriate but I didn't really understand anything so it's fine um then I rewatched it when I was like an older teenager I decided to rewatch it a couple weeks ago I'm seeing scenes that I like don't remember at all I don't remember Sloan and Altman what the heck I don't remember it like I know obviously it didn't last long because I know the storyline but I don't remember them shagging okay done with the eyebrows i leave them i do not gel them i don't gel them until the end just because i powder my face and bronzer and all that stuff so it just gets icky icky so i do that at the end so now i'm going to set the rest of my face i'm gonna do it with this i'm gonna do it with this banana powder let's see how well that goes it looks like my skin color i feel like it'll be okay you know i'm just gonna put it on the powder that i use which is the mac studio fix okay it doesn't look that bad but i don't i don't think it's an under eye kind of thing yeah i don't think it's an under eye kind of thing i'm gonna do a little bit and set my whole face okay it doesn't look that bad on the skin we're good we're fine we are fine. We freaked out for no reason. It's okay. It's okay. Then I'm going to move on to my eyes, which are super easy because I only do a few things. I don't really put on eyeshadow anymore. It's more just eyeliner. So I'm going to need two brushes. I don't need any more than this. These are the two brushes. You just need an angled brush and a straight brush. That's all I need. I'm gonna go into Juvia's place and then I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade and I'm basically just gonna use my angled brush and act like it's a eyeliner. So I'm gonna pat it down just so that it's not pigmented so much that it goes crazy. And I'm basically drawing it on like styling. It's more than a Then once I have it on and it's at the perfect length that I want it, I'll go in with a transition shade. So something like this, you can even go with something a little bit darker if you'd like. I'm gonna go in with both of them. I'm gonna kind of mix them together. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna smear the top so that it looks a little bit more smoky and softer. And that's all I do for my eyes. I haven't really been doing a lot of eyeshadow. That's kind of all I do. And then I put on lashes. This was the one that I was wearing in my vlog. A lot of you guys were asking me about it. It is the Lily Lashes in Mink Doha. Doha? Do you guys see that? Mink Doha? My favorite way to put on lashes is using a tweezer and a mirror and obviously the lashes. Best way for me is to put the mirror kind of below you and then look down at the mirror. Kind of lift your eyes if you have hooded eyes. And then I'm going to put it on the center closest to my lashes. Hopefully you guys can see this. Then once it's on, I'm going to take the end and drag it over and then put down the front. That's how it is. And I'm going to do my second one. Same thing, center it, hold the lashes in the center with your tweezers, place it down in the center and then drag your end. Then it's time for a bronzer, which I'm really excited about because Kim Tai literally won't stop talking about this bronzer. So I'm gonna go in and bronze. Oh, 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 it comes with the something. I'm gonna go in. It looks really soft, like soft colored. That's pretty. Okay, I understand why she won't shut up about it. Oh, it's pretty. It's so soft and looks real. 
I don't know what I mean by real, but like, it's not harsh. It blends so smooth. Okay, you guys, she's right. This is amazing. This is a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the deep one. I will say their deep isn't too deep though. So, I'm gonna do a little bit on my temples. I don't go in with bronzer on my forehead all too much because my forehead's already very small. So when I put on bronzer, I've noticed that it just kind of closes off my face and looks super muddy. So do what, do what works for your face. It's not about what works for other people because it might not work for you. After that, I'm gonna go in with my fave. You know, I love my blushes. I've talked about this before. If you put on blush in the center of your apples, cheek, you know, um, in this area, usually what it does is it kind of makes you look younger and flirtier. I feel like um, I change my look depending on where I place my blush. My blush is also the Morphe Blush Trio in Pop of Coral. I'm using this unapologetic color right here which is my favorite. And I'm just going to place it up higher towards my temples, connecting it with my bronzer. And you also want to place your blush higher, not like high, high, but like the lower you go with your blush, the more it'll look like your face is drooping. And I've learned my lesson the hard way. I literally looked like my 50 pound cheeks were sagging. They looked like tits. See, the more you put it back here, the more you look older and higher, like everything's lifted. And I feel like when I do the cute summer looks, I usually put my blushes right here and then I look cuter and fresh. And it just really changes depending on where you put your blush. Then of course, I'm gonna go in with highlight and my all time favorite highlight is the Fenty and Hustla Baby. She only sells it as a travel size like this or in a duo kind of thing. There's Mean Honey and Hustla Baby. Hustla Baby's like golden. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. This side is Hustla Baby and this side is the Mean Honey. I have never used this side. It might be a little too light for me, but I'm gonna go in with Hustla Baby. And I'm just gonna tap, tap, and put on my, it's just so pretty. Oh, it's my favorite highlight. It's like the best highlight that's ever been known. It's my all time favorite. I've been using this for I don't even know how long because my cousin introduced it to me like two years ago, three years ago. I don't even remember when. Then for my brow and nose and my inner corner highlights, I am going to be using the, I found this recently. I don't know if it still exists. I will see if I can still find a link. This is the Artist Couture in Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. I love using this loose powder for my brow bone and like my nose just because those are the places where I really go ham with highlight. Like I love having a brow bone highlight. I think it's so pretty. Especially since I don't wear a lot of eye product. And it's so pigmented. In my inner corners then my nose then the last things I have left are brow gel brow gel it up this is just my basic brow gel if I need to like keep my brows from moving, which they don't really move because they're so dang straight. This is just the MAC brow set. If you really want a good brow gel, it's the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. It's my favorite. Then I'm going to line my lips with, I think I'm gonna use, hold on, I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm gonna do, no. I'm what am I thinking? I'm like all over the place. 
I'm just gonna line my lips with peekaboo neutral. Peekaboo and neutral is not it, you guys. It's too new for me right now. I think it wasn't the image I was going for. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite ever. It never fails me. It's pretty, super pretty. Just not what I was looking for. I'm just gonna swipe a little bit of gloss on it. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to spray. Where's my setting spray? Ooh. Wow, okay, now I need to go somewhere. Someone take me somewhere because my makeup looks good. My eyebrows are still too dark, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'm just gonna deal with it. Sorry if the angle looks a little bit different. You guys had to put in a new battery. I'm going to use the Salon Graphics, the Do It All 3-in-1 Dry Texture Spray. It's basically a dry shampoo meets hairspray. It volumizes, refreshes, and holds. I've been using this for a little bit. I like it. It's okay. Then I'm going to brush it out. Let's see what... Can you guys see it? Hopefully you see it. Oh, looks pretty. Okay. I don't think I've ever curled my hair for you guys on camera. I'm gonna do this front piece again just because it kinda died on me. Oh no. I'm gonna go down at the bottom and straighten some pieces out. I'm done with my hair. This is the finished look to you guys. I hope you guys liked it. My hair's done. My makeup's done. The front pieces are a little too curly right now, but they will settle down and it'll be okay. But this is pretty much it. Oh, perfect timing. The gardeners are here. So now that I'm done, they can go at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking around and watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!